news tonight. There is a lot of excitement around tonight's matchup between Minnesota's own Paige Beckers and Caitlin Clark in the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament, especially at a Minneapolis watering hole that focuses exclusively on women's sports. Fox 9's Maury Glover joins us now live outside a bar of their own to fill us in on all the fun there. Hey, Maury. <laughs> Well, the game just started about a half an hour ago, but the mood inside the bar has been electric all night. Ecstatic. Jackie Ose has been an athlete all her life, but on this night, she's more excited about watching women's basketball than playing it herself. It's exciting because Paige is from Minnesota, uh, you know, right down the road to Hopkins, and, you know, I've been watching her all along, um, but I... I think you have to be under a rock to not be excited about the whole Caitlin Clark thing. Os is one of the dozens of fans who packed a bar of their own to watch Paige Beckers of UConn and Caitlin Clark of Iowa go head to head in the women's final four. Clark steps back, fires, you bet! The last time Clark took the court on Monday night, there was a line around the block at the bar to watch what became the most watched college women's basketball game in history. And the owner expects to be at capacity Friday night as well. I don't think he could have written the script better from a Midwest perspective because, you know, people in the Midwest love college basketball and to have two of the best players in the country coming from our area is awesome. Some fans showed up hours early to stake their spot for a bit of March Madness. So stoked. I literally just flew in from Los Angeles like three hours ago to come to this bar with my best friend to watch the games. Like, I wish we had a place like this anyway really um, that just focuses on women's sports and Oles believes the epic matchup between two college superstars won't be decided until the final buzzer Here is Decker's laying it in. if uh, Paige is on and if uh, Caitlin's on uh, it's probably gonna come down to who has the ball last in the last 10 seconds <laughs> Now, the Riverview Theater in Minneapolis is also showing the game on the big screen, and they were expecting a big crowd as well. Reporting live in Minneapolis, Maury Glover, Fox 9. Yeah, I don't know who to 